ocean has five zones. The upper ocean, or lit zone, is up to 650 feet from the sea level, where normal species are found. The middle ocean, or the twilight zone, starts at 650 feet and ends at 3,300 feet. The giant whales that we see live in this twilight zone. That's not all. It is much deeper than we think it is. Then comes the lower ocean, or the midnight zone. It is from 3,300 feet to 13,000 feet. From 13,000 feet to 20,000 feet is the abyss zone. And the deepest zone is known as the Mariana Trench, which is from 20,000 feet to 36,000 feet. With the advancement of technology, we have been able to explore four zones, but we know very little about the Mariana Trench. It is considered to be the deepest in the ocean. The shape of this trench is like a crescent and is located near the Mariana Islands near the Philippines. The Mariana Trench is huge, five times the size of the Grand Canyon and around 7,500 feet deeper than the highest peak on Earth. The temperatures below are extremely freezing and the pressure is a thousand times greater. Therefore, species living in these enormous depths have different adaptations. It is known as bioluminescence. It means that they produce light and have skins that are capable of handling the atmospheric pressure deep down in the seabed. So let us explore the unexplored creatures of the Mariana Trench, the deepest zone in the ocean. Goblin Shark Goblin Shark belong to the shark family, but none of these sharks are found anywhere above these levels. They are adapted to live in these extremely freezing depths. These goblin sharks have a flat, elongated nose-like structure. Even though the lower jaw is quite far, their lower jawbone is structured in such a way that it moves forward to catch its prey. Thinking of sharks frightens us, but these goblin sharks are scarier. To grab the prey, goblin sharks initially move around slowly. They have great smelling powers and track their prey by its smell. They wait until it reaches nearer and then grabs the prey. They cannot survive normal temperatures. Scientists have conducted experiments keeping them in specialized tanks, but were not successful. These sharks are rarely seen even in the seabed. Fanfin Sea Devils Fanfin Sea Devils are one of the 100 types of anglerfish. Although they are small, they have the scariest jaws like piranhas. They have the incredible bioluminescent capability to glow. They use this to attract their prey, and it also saves them from becoming prey. The body of these Fanfin Sea Devils is covered with hairy spikes. These spikes work as sensors, but identifying prey and finding better, habitable surroundings. Usually in most species, males are big, but in these species, it is the complete opposite. The females of the fanfin sea devils are about 6 to 8 inches, whereas the males are only 1 to 2 inches. Due to this reason, scientists only found female fanfins during the search. An amazing fact about this sea devil is their reproductive system. These small males stick to female bodies during the mating season like parasites. Just like parasites, this male clings to the body of a female, and this is how reproduction occurs. Scientists call it parasitic reproduction. Zombie Worms Osidax, or zombie worms, are feathery plant-like creatures that feed on bones off the sea animals, including whales. The name itself is a bit scary. The feathery spikes pull oxygen from water and keep them alive. An amazing thing about these creatures is that they don't have mouths. They secrete acids onto the bones of the dead sea animals. These acids and symbiotic bacteria decay the bones and convert them into nutrients. Zombie worms absorb these nutrients. The males are microscopic and are stuck on the skin, whereas the females are only inches long. Similar to the fanfin sea devils, these creatures also use parasitic reproduction. The females then release new eggs into the water, and this is how the life cycle of this zombie worm begins. These worms are like scavengers of the sea. They clean the skeletons of dead sea animals deep down the seabed. Hatchetfish Hatchetfish are found in 40 different species. They are extremely tiny and have gleaming scales that give them a metallic appearance. They grow the largest, reaching about 6 inches in length. These fishes possess glowing bioluminescent capabilities, which allow them to hide in the ocean depths. Thus, getting invisible helps them to attack their prey and also saves them from predators. Dumbo Octopuses the mysterious Dumbo octopus has been named after the Disney character. Flappy ears, deep-set eyes, and small tentacles just make it look cute. It is found at the depth of around 9,800 meters in the Mariana Trench. They are hardly 8 to 12 centimeters in size and flutter their ears to move around. It comes near the prey, 
He turns into a predator and just gollops the prey in one mouthful. The Dumbo octopus is a semi-translucent octopus having a squat form. They are the only octopus species living in the deepest parts of the ocean. Fangtooth fish. These fishes seem like something out of a horror film. They have been named after their terrifying teeth. They have bigger teeth compared to their body size. With jaws closed, it resembles pouches on the roof of their mouths. Fangtooth fish have poor vision and thus hunt differently. They bump against their prey and attack them. They can feel the vibrations and movement of their prey in the water. Fangtooths are considered to be tough compared to other deep sea fish. They can live for months, even in aquariums above the sea level. Comb jellies. Comb jellies are gelatinous organisms with luminous body structures that refract any light that falls upon them, making them visually fascinating. They move about in the water using their plates. Although they are eye-soothing, these undersea beauties are ferocious predators that have been attacking other types of jellyfish. Usually they are found in both sizes. Some are a few millimeters long, whereas others grow up to five feet. Their translucent bodies are covered in tiny bioluminescent combs. These combs refract light as they move that looks like shimmering rainbows. They are watery creatures made up of more than 95% water without bones or shells. Comb jellies utilize their tentacles to put food into their mouths. Telescope octopus. This bizarre creature is translucent and nearly colorless. This helps it to hide and move along in disguise. Telescope octopuses can grow up to eight inches long and are found in these dark parts of the ocean. The amazing fact about this creature is that they have tubular eyes that they can rotate. They just lurk in the dark and move their eyes around like tentacles to pursue their prey. Dragonfish The dragonfish is an assassin of the darkest depths. It has monstrous jaws and a terrible face. It is like an eel. The dragonfish is one of several ultra-black fish found in the deep water. They have very big teeth and photophores in their body that shine and attract both prey and mates. The most bizarre thing about this fish is that it has a lengthy antenna on its chin that glows. It uses it as a fishing rod to attract prey. They are only six inches, but have a frightening appearance. Vampire squid. The vampire squid neither belongs to the squid family nor an octopus family. It's a one-of-a-kind creature. The vampire squid, like many of its species, has eight arms and two tentacles. Even though they don't suck blood, they are called vampires. This is because of their appearance. They are found in the darkest and deepest oceans. Just like the Dumbo octopus, these vampire squids also have ear-like fins that help them in moving around. Moreover, it has a gelatinous body just like the jellyfish. The bioluminescent photophores on the skin allow them to generate glow to mislead their prey. Moreover, the arms of these squids also produce light at the tips, which they use to communicate with their mates. These squids are rare, thus mating between male and female is unlikely to occur frequently. The females store the sperms for elongated periods and utilize them later to produce eggs. It is hard to study vampire squids in these freezing depths, therefore very little is known about their behavior. The Gran Roja fish. Gran Roja is a unique jellyfish that has thick arms instead of normal lengthy tentacles as we see in other jellyfish species. The center part is known as the medusa, which is dark red. Thus, it is also known as the big red jelly. An interesting fact about this species is that they use the same organ to eat and expel waste. These Gran Rojos are without a heart, bones, eyes, or a brain just like other jellyfish. They have gelatinous bodies but are opaque. Although they look beautiful, they are fierce predators. The lifespan of these jellyfish is quite short. They live between two to six months. This jellyfish was discovered recently by researchers. Barrel eye fish. Barrel eye fish has two pairs of eyes. The eyes in the front are its nostrils. It sees with these eyes that are inside the transparent part. These eyes are very sharp and can see even in the deepest and darkest parts of the ocean. This transparent membrane saves them from the stings of jellyfish. The barrel eye fish has flat fins that helps them to easily float in water. Black sea devil anglerfish. Does this fish look familiar? It was the same species that attacked Marlin and Dory in the movie Finding Nemo. These black sea devils, like most anglerfish, have a luminous projection on their heads. They use this light to attract prey. They have sharp teeth to capture their prey. Just like the fan fins, their jaws are large and can swallow prey larger than themselves. 
Viperfish Viperfish can be distinguished by its huge venomous fangs. The teeth in the lower jaw are so big that they don't fit inside the mouth. They have a long tentacle on their dorsal fin that glows and attracts prey. According to researchers, viperfish swim towards their prey at great speeds and smash them with their strong teeth. The viperfish floats motionless and waves the lure above their head to attract the prey. Frilled Shark These frilled sharks are among the unchanged creatures of the past. They look like fairy tale creatures that are known to be existent in old mythological stories. Rarely seen at sea level, these frightening creatures are mostly found in the deepest parts of the ocean. The hunting technique of this creature is unique. Just like an anaconda, it grabs its victim by bending its body and lunging forward like a snake. It mostly swallows the prey in one go. Usually they are brown and have a long body like an eel. They grow up to the length of two meters. These are just a handful of the amazing animals that live in the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean. They've adapted to these severe habitats, which include limited oxygen, food, and sunlight. To date, we have studied only 2% of the ocean floor with all the modern technology present. Yet 98% remains hidden and unexplored. Only time shall answer what other mysterious life we encounter and discover next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it with fellow ocean lovers. Hit the subscribe button for your weekly dose of informative fun and ring the bell icon to never miss a video from us.